Hi guys, thank you for joining me. I was curious about why USGS wasn't reporting any aftershocks after this supposed magnitude 3.8 earthquake, which was probably more like a 4.5, but they often like to downgrade them. But they haven't reported any aftershocks. We got two marked in red here prior to this 3.8. And three more afterwards. Um, this is from Wyandotte, Indiana. All right, so using Google Earth, here is Wyandotte, Indiana. This is the location of that 3.8 earthquake. I did find um, two more monitors. I'm going to show you this one also. Um, it's in Ohio, um, ACSO. And then I got another monitor. Let's see, um, HD1L. There is generally always aftershocks, usually um, decreasing in size as time goes on by one magnitude or so. So either people are not reporting these earthquakes or USGS figures um, nothing to see move along. This wavy line through here, this is from that earthquake they had earlier today in Alaska. Actually, it was along the Aleutian Islands up there. It was a magnitude 5.3, made the earth ring like a bell. So I'm going to do the most recent earthquake, which was at 1.18 p.m. Uh, Central Daylight Time. There's its wave, and it was, according to this location, a magnitude 2.8. The next one I'll do is right there at about 9.55 a.m. or 14.55 Universal Time. That one looks smaller. It was a magnitude 2.12. All right, the next one marked in red, and you know when they're marked in red, that means the computer picked it up and it sends a message, an email, text, whatever to the seismologist to investigate the earthquake. This one, too, was a magnitude 2.19. Now, it used to be, unless you're earthquake sensitive, most people don't feel these earthquakes unless they're a magnitude 2.5 or greater. And then I want to come up here. Yeah, there. remember I was talking about this weird signal that was going around the world? Yeah, there it is there. Now we have a long P wave on this earthquake, earthquake because it is quite a distance from where it actually happened. But according to Swarm, this earthquake was actually a magnitude 4.41. Yeah, not the 3.8. You can see it down here at the bottom when I move the mouse. It'll say MD 4.41. Do you see it at the very bottom there? Now, the next monitor in the middle here is HDIL. Using Google Earth, here's the location of that 3.8 earthquake. And right here is the station monitor. I kind of had fun looking for them here on Google Earth to see what they looked like, where, they're, where they were set up at. There's a little tiny box there, right there. That's the earthquake monitor. Hopedale, Illinois. The first one they have marked in red is at 18.22 and 50 seconds. So again, that would be at 1.22 p.m. Central Daylight Time. And at this site, it came in as a magnitude 1.64. The next earthquake, which is at um, 18.19, so that would be 1.19 p.m. Local Time, Central Daylight Time. And that can, comes in as a magnitude 1.70. And there's lots of other smaller stuff. You can see it here. That wavy line there is that earthquake that they had in Alaska. And I'll bring this up. For some reason, when I move the, mo the uh, page up, yeah, it shrinks. Yeah, and for some reason, yeah, it's got a lot of activity prior to this earthquake. That is an extremely long P wave, but here it comes in as a 3.91.
And we're going to try and make this bigger. There you go. And I've talked about different earthquake signatures. See how it's got a sharper top on these? Yeah, it's definitely a tectonic-like earthquake. Um, it doesn't have the rounded edges to be like a shallow volcanic earthquake or a surface event or even harmonic tremors. The monitor on the right is a monitor from Ohio, which would be Alm Creek State Park. And it's only got one marked in red. The HDIL monitoring station is the closest one to Bloomington. And I'm going to bring this out for the monitor there in Ohio. This is the location of the uh, 3.8 earthquake. And this is the station in Ohio. I couldn't find anything closer. I'm going to bring this out and come down a little bit. All right. So we got HD. I L A C S O and W I C I down here at the bottom. But we're going to go to this one right here and we'll zoom into its location. Right there in that little building, whatever it is right there. This is the only one that's marked in red at, oh, it came in about 1814. So that would be uh, 114 p.m. Central Daylight Time. And that would be a magnitude 2.12. Now here, the earthquake actually registered as a 4.36. Like I said, it probably was much stronger than the magnitude 3.8 that USGS reported it as. So going back and reviewing, this one right here is marked in red on all three monitors. This one it came in at, oh, just before 1819. This one just before 1820. And this one came in sooner, um, just after... 18, 14, and 30 seconds, but it's got a longer P wave on it. And here in Indiana, it came in as a magnitude 2.65. So someone probably did feel that earthquake at about 1.18 p.m. Central Daylight Time. And yeah, it just cleared on me for some reason. That one there is the only one that shows up as marked in red on all three monitors. Why USGS is not reporting these aftershocks is beyond me. But I thought you guys would like to know. Anyways, uh, put a comment down below. That way the computer don't think you're a bot and unsubscribe you or, or unsubscribing you from your favorite channels. If any thoughts or comments or questions or if you felt any of these aftershocks, please put those comments down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.